As a teenager, fresh into learning about faith, I modeled myself after a wiser, older believer who seemed very Jesus-y to me. I copied the way she prayed by seasoning my sentences with just reallys, you know, and sighing in the spots where she would sigh. I watched as she highlighted various verses in her Bible and used different colors, and then I would copy them, all in an effort to be more spiritual, more holy, more like Jesus. The thing was, she wasn't Jesus. As I got to know her better, I saw the human her peeking out through her most sincere, try to be godly moments. The inclination to follow after influential followers of Jesus instead of Jesus himself is as old as the beginning of our faith. Paul wrote to the first century church in Corinth in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 4 to correct their tendency and ours to put mere humans in the place that only Jesus can occupy. He wrote, you are still worldly. There is still jealousy and quarreling among you. For when one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos, are you not being mere humans? Over the years, I've learned much from my brothers and sisters of faith. You know, how to wait on God, when to step back from temptation, and yes, even how to pray. But when I slip, an inspiring follower of Jesus as my role model in between me and Jesus, I'm settling for a human imitation instead of the divine Jesus himself. And whenever we settle for a human imitation, we can grow to be like the human imitation more than the real thing. So let's remember to follow Jesus rather than his followers, no matter how inspiring they might be. After all, only Jesus is Jesus.